story you won't see anywhere else on this Friday. Christina Conley says a Black Lives Matter sign in her yard is a constitutional right, but a hate-filled letter to her, that suggests otherwise. Tonight, KRHD News anchor Hallie Jones is investigating. Dear sir or madam, dated May 23rd, 2021, we do not support Black Lives Matter. It's a racist organization that hates white people and the police. Christina Conley received a letter in the mail just last week, all because of the Black Lives Matter sign in her front yard. The problem with the blacks is the family and the refusal to let go of slavery and blame. All you do, do is blame rich white people like us. The letter came through the mail addressed to neighbor with no return address. Conley says when she read what she believes to be considered a hate letter, she became instantly upset. I didn't want to open it first because it didn't have a return address on it. And a lot of times you get crazy stuff in the mail, but something in my heart told me to open it and just see what it was. When I opened it and started to read it, I, I was highly upset uh, that somebody would actually take the time to write this and send it to me is, it was disgusting. Protesting looters, men that do not stay with their wives for life, are poor black men in jail, sad. Conley's two children are biracial, and she says she's had the Black Lives Matter sign in her yard for at least six months. When she showed her son the letter, he was not surprised. I try to laugh it off at first to not let it bother me so much, but yes, it did bother me to that somebody did take the time to write this, but at the same time, I, I, I didn't feel like letting it upset me, felt like it was letting them win. The letter was signed Indian Lakes Community here in South College Station and ended up 11 miles north in Conley's mailbox. The Board of Directors of Indian Lakes Homeowners Association providing Carrie HD News a statement saying in part, the association and the board does not in any way condone or support the statements contained in the letter and denounces the beliefs and statements expressed in the letter in the strongest possible terms. The association prides itself on fostering an inclusive, diverse community, and it is the association's goal and hope that all owners and residents of Indian Lakes and all persons in College Station can feel welcome where they live. Before receiving the letter, Conley had never heard of the Indian Lakes community. At first, I didn't know what right. Indian Lakes community Sorry. was. That's why I went to my neighbor because she's been in this community for a long, long time. And she knows a lot uh, in this area. So I went to ask her because I, I, I didn't know as, if that was the name of our neighborhood, of our community. And she told me, no, that's some neighborhood way on the other end of College Station. Conley has lived in the College Hills neighborhood in College Station for nearly two years and has since put more signs in her yard expressing equality, sticking up for what she believes is right. I'm going to speak up. I'm going to say what I believe is right. What's right is right. What's wrong is wrong. How did it make you feel seeing the way your mom reacted so strongly to this? How did that make you feel to know that your mom's that strong woman that isn't going to put up with stuff like that? It made me feel good. I mean, that's why I'm the way I am now. Mm -hmm. It's because of her. She always told me that no matter what you see is wrong, don't be afraid to talk about it, stand up for it. Now Conley tells us she is sharing that letter with some neighbors. Some have told her they too will be getting Black Lives Matter signs to put up in their yards to show support.